Hi everyone, in this video we will create a class diagram for an e-commerce store. So let's get started. First of all, I will drag the classes, then I will add the attribute and the methods. This class would be for the user, we have a user class. And the second class would be the customer and also the user, the seller, okay. I will just write the names of the uh, classes. The class diagram has three parts, name, attributes, and the methods. And another class would be, this is the product class. And also this is the, sorry. Payment class with us. And this would be the shopping cart. This is the order class and also it's customer, seller, product, order, order at shipping.com. So now I will make it and i will add the attributes to them okay first of all and then i will add the relationships first of all i will add uh, to the user i will make it a little bit smaller to looks good and also let's remove this let's add the attributes the yeah i will stop the video and i will add the attributes then i will explain it to you so i have created the user class which has a role the role is the boolean okay i will assign boolean to that and login id and password and also a method which is will verify the user now let's add the attribute and the methods for the sealer class now the same i have added the attributes and methods for the sealer ID, address, phone, and email, and uh, the methods like in register and update profile. Now, one thing I should mention that these all diagrams in UML are in database. This uh, depends on your requirement. Okay, uh, maybe your requirement is different from my and okay, it is a general class diagram which will give you a concept of how to create and which classes are general classes are there in this uh, class diagram. So now let's move to the payment, which attributes and uh, methods we have in the payment. So I have added the attribute and the methods to payment, ID, order ID, paid or not paid, total and details. And the methods are send OTP and confirm transaction, get payment detail and make transaction. Now let's move to the customer class. Uh, we will make the relationships later, okay? yeah the method and attributes are added for the customer class also the id address phone and email and also login register and update methods for the customer class now let's come to the product class uh, add the product for the product we have the product id So the attributes and methods has added uh, the product ID, product name, product cast, seller ID, and the posted date. These are the attributes and the methods are add to cart, sell product, get product detail, and add to cart. Oh sorry, this is uh, buy product. Uh, 
okay so now let's come to the uh, shopping cart we will add the attributes and methods for this yes these are the attributes are created date vnet has created the shopping cart and add to cart add cart item check out view card detail and update the quantity in the cart now let's move to the shipping info okay whenever we are shipping so we need the shipping info from the user to add so i have added info to the shipping info but uh, before we should add the order but we will add later to that uh, shipping id cost type address and update shipping uh, shipping info uh, let's add the attributes in the meter to the order Uh, the order uh, class has ID, seller ID, customer ID, product ID, total amount, order date, delivery date, and delivery status. These are the attributes for the order class. And the um, uh, function, the method is place order. And also, we let's add uh, a category class. Okay, the product has the category. Category. Let's add the attributes and method. So ID and name and add and view. That are the methods for the category class. So first of all, the sealer and the customers are inheriting from user. Okay, we will create a generalization a relationship here. Inheritance. Okay, these two are inherited from the user class and the customer um, has association with the product because it can see the products. And the customer can place the order and add item to the cart. the customer and the shopping cart has the composition relationship and also the customer has the relationship with the order the composition relationship okay and the order has shipping info And uh, uh, product has aggregation relationship with the shopping cart, and the order has composition relationship with the product. and the product has composition relationship with the sailor and also payment with the order and product with the category so now let's add the cardinality a customer uh, may have one a customer may have zero or one shopping cart and a sealer can uh, have zero or money products At least one it should have at least one and also the relationship between customer and order would be that customer may have 
no other are many others and also the other in the product in order you one order may have uh, one or many product and also the shopping cart in a shopping cart uh, there may be zero or many products in the product in the order it is one to one in the category may have one or many product yeah so it was all about class diagram for any commerce store i hope this video help you uh, if you like this video so please subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching